Hey there, everybody. Guess what? I built a model car. And as you know, when I build a model car, I show you that model car. And I build up the suspense onto what model car it is. But you've already seen the thumbnail, and you already know what car it is. And in fact, I lied. It's not a car. It's a truck. So let's just go right into it. And you are looking at the AMT 1960 Chevrolet Custom Fleet Side. This is an older kit, uh, well, re-release of an older kit. This kit's been around for quite a while. And uh, the go-kart, I don't remember what the go-kart was from, but uh, the go-kart comes with this kit, this particular release. And I got to tell you, this guy is an awesome, awesome little model. So uh, this is a 125th scale. Includes a uh, pickup truck and go-kart. Really cool. Box art shows uh, really cool uh, decals. A nice truck. Go-kart. Again, that's box art. And then it's got the engine, the grill, the wheels, the seat. All stuff that should come in a model kit anyways. Anyways, so let me give you a little backstory here. So I picked this one up because uh, I wanted to build it, and so I built it. But the decal, go this side here. The decals here, I was looking at uh, the Go Kart Mart. Focus this. Let me put this down here and see if we can focus there. The Go Kart Mart and the little green decal right there. I thought those were super freaking sharp. Decal straight, uh, straight for the Go Kart. And I'm like, that's cool. So I went and got my head, get, got myself a, uh, a can of, got ahead of myself, and got myself a can of Tamiya uh, Lime Green. Because I thought that would match really well with that and the go-kart. So, sure enough, as you've seen in the thumbnail, this bad boy here looks really freaking sharp. So like I said, it's a Tamiya green and a um, dupe of color white decal straight from the, uh, the box. The go-kart has uh, a green base on it and um, the green striping because I want it to match it. So let's move this sucker around just a little bit here, go to the front end. As you can see, I also made it a little bit of custom. I took the, uh, the grill and instead of doing it chrome, I painted it the lime green again. Which I think gives it a really cool effect. I like that a lot. And the front bumper is a little crooked. I'll explain that in a second. Here's the other side. Same paint scheme going there. It's really cool. The back end. Nothing special in the back end there. Go-kart. Go-kart was a little tougher than uh, expected. Uh, it was mostly chrome. I uh, painted it, the motors white and then I kind of black washed it with a uh, black paint there. Seat is obviously black with a gray padding. Steering wheel is flat black. The, uh, the little nose cone is just white with the decal on it and the underneath is the same color as the car. A lot of parts to that. Uh, not as easy as I thought it was going to be but hey, it's okay. Let's look under the engine. I really like this engine on here. I really like this hood. 60s uh, Chevy, always really cool. Got a little bump on the paint there. But, take this bad boy off. And let's show you the engine. Engine looks pretty sharp here. I painted it a gray. Um, and then, you know, oil filter, the wiring, the battery is my classic interstate battery. Starter down there is gold and black. It's not focusing. There it goes. Yeah, so just a little bit of detail colors there. You know, just regular uh, uh, testers paints, all hand painted. So, that's really cool. The interior might be hard to see on here. It's pretty basic. It's the dashboard. Uh, I painted it black and gray. It's actually the same gray as the engine. It's really hard to see. I don't have any flashlight to go in there. But it's just a gray seat. Uh, black and gray dashboard. Uh, there was a decal for the um, over here. There was a decal for the gauges. I used that. One of the problems I had, and in fact, I may have been the only problem. This car or truck went together super, super freaking easy. Is that the uh, the tub for the uh, the interior was a little tight going in underneath. So you kind of had to move it around, play with it, and whatnot. And then I ended up knocking out the back window, and I couldn't get that back in. And then, when I got it in there, there's uh, previous videos to this, the front did not sit right on the chassis. There's pegs on the, um, underneath the bed and the, uh, the, the 
the front cab here that go right into the um the, the, the frame as you can see the frame i just did a black and silvers here nothing special you don't see the underneath of my car so i don't do a lot of detail on underneath my cars but there were four pegs under here that uh i got some advice from the modeling community and i'm very thankful for them i can't thank uh, you guys enough uh, i sanded off those pegs and everything seemed to have worked in pretty well only problem was it was still a little crooked and then when i put the um this side here you can see it was a little more crooked than the other there but uh, when i put the front bumper on then the front bumper was shows you how crooked it was but you know what we're just going to go with it this way and it looks really good like i said the engine went together good the interior went together just uh a little bit of a, uh, a tight squeeze. Be careful when you do that. Uh, I originally did it like the wheels to the truck, but it is the one from the box. I didn't do the white walls. Um, I should say the tires are actually white wall, and then on the other side is a white striping. So I did the white striping, but I didn't want... I thought I was going to change the wheels up because I really didn't care for them, but then when I realized it was a work truck... I went ahead and kept it. So also with the model kit comes the ramps for the uh, to hold the go kart in. I personally think that's a weird way to hold the go kart, but I would put it you know back and forth. But uh, hey, it is what it is. I glued the go kart on there so that bad boy ain't going nowhere. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hobos and tramps, cross-eyed mosquitoes and four-legged ants. Here is my 1960 Chevy pickup truck. Highly, highly recommend it. Highly recommend you get one. You don't have to do it the go-kart way. You can do it however you want to do it. I would really love to build another one and kind of rust it out a little bit because I've been experimenting with uh, weathering vehicles lately. I think this one would be really cool being rusted out. So, with that being said, get yourself this kit. All right, everybody. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate my subscribers. Appreciate the like button being pressed, and I appreciate all the comments. If you're not a subscriber, I uh, would like for you to subscribe. It costs you nothing, and you get updates on uh, my other model builds. All right, everybody. Again, thank you very much. Wherever you're at, whatever you're doing, take care.